The conversation of Paige's balance of when to take over a game and when to get her teammates involved has been something that we've talked about all season, Meg. We've heard from Gino a lot, mm -hmm. four games after games, about this topic. Is this how Paige can take her game to the next level? What do you think, Meg? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, he also talks about how stubborn she is and she wants to do it her way. And, <laughs> and as we all know... Um, and Kara, now you and I have kids. Like, you also know kids think they know everything, right? But it's when you fail is when you really learn, I think, the best. And with this failure, so to speak, of not playing the way she wanted to play, and she owned it. I was impressed but not surprised how she did own it yeah. uh, after the game. But she, she's been trying to do it her way. And he's been pounding on her, like, come on, you got to do this. You got to be more, more selfish. Shoot the ball more. Well, I think now, I think she'll know she's got to listen to her coach. Yeah, little wake up call. Kara, I, what do you think? I think it's a double edged sword, right? Gino recruits a type of person like Paige Beckers. That's what he wants. That's the culture here. It's not a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to take them both together and try to teach her that balance because, yeah, you want a little more. She, that's not her. That's just not her as a person. So now she has to learn to separate. Like, you're awesome person, unselfish, whatever. But on, when you step on the in between those lines, this team needs you to be a little more selfish. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the double-edged sword of the player that he recruits at UConn is unselfish. But now you have to teach him to be, okay, you were unselfish when I recruited you, but let me teach you how to be a little more selfish. Yeah. And Paige, I, I, I appreciate that she's such a good teammate. I mean, you really do. So you take the good with the bad, but hopefully she learns from this. Yeah, especially a player of her caliber and coming yeah. off of a season, uh, a season where she was away due to injury right. and this being her first season back, she was exceptional. And there were some moments of just pure greatness that we saw from her. So Kara, how would you evaluate her season overall? I think she's a rare person, right? She's a rare player that we haven't seen. And she was starting from scratch. I mean, think about essentially all the time that she has missed. She's finally got this full season under her belt and, and with the playoffs and all those experiences. And she, I, I just think she did phenomenal mm -hmm. for what she did. And because she was trying to not be selfish, because I think part of it was trying to work her way back into this system and not take over. And, and at times, you know, would say, well, you, how, you know, people would say, how are you going to work Paige back in? And the thing was, well, no, how are they going to adjust to now playing with Paige back in the lineup? And it had to be about her. So I think she did a good job of just giving it all she can with the exception of that selfishness that she has. I mean, but she led the team in blocks. So I, 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 she's very excited. <laughs> she wanted defensive player in the year for that. Yeah. So to not only see her get back, but see the growth in her, to right. be able to be that chameleon and kind of play any position yeah, that's asked she was, of her. Yeah, she started as the, at the four well, many yeah. games. You know, here she comes in as a point guard coming out of high school, and now she's playing in the low post. You know, the thing that I was impressed with, and, and Chelsea, you asked the question, her season was unbelievable. And to come back from being gone from ACL the previous year, missed the whole year, only played a handful of games, 15 games the year before with the, the knee injury her freshman year. She also had had, or her sophomore year, her, her, she had ankle surgery at the end of her freshman year. So the kid has been banged up all through college. Mm -hmm. And she had an unbelievable season. She's a generational type player, all while playing 32 minutes a game. Yeah. So get her a break and she'll even be better. Yeah. As the kids say, she's that girl. <laughs> she just has to be reminded of that. Yes.